Hey guys, it's your boy Slow. Welcome to my new series. It's a Gonzalo Gedge career mode, a player career mode to be exact. So why did I pick Gonzalo Gedge? Well, not only is he the youngest Portuguese player to ever score in the Champions League at the age of 18, that's a tender age, but he also scored that really crucial goal against Atletico Madrid, which will hopefully cement a place for Benfica in the next round of the Champions League. I really believe that this is going to be one of Portugal's best players, along with players like Bernardo Silva and Porto's captain Ruben Neves. So so you guys might be wondering, what is my aim in this career mode? Is it to leave Benfica? Do I assume that, you know, a team like Manchester United would be a big club, a bigger club than Benfica? Or should he go to Chelsea or to someone like Juventus or AC Milan or PSG, stuff like that? No, that is not my aim. I already think Benfica is one of the biggest clubs in the world. Why in the hell uh, would I want to leave Benfica? My aim is to be the best player in the world in Benfica. And I also want to uh, get to the national squad and uh, perform to the same levels as Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe I can reach those heights, uh, but mainly my main aim is to be the best player in the world and remain at Benfica. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm making the right choice? Should I stay in Benfica? Is it a bit boring for you if I stay in the same club? But you do have the mix of the national football team as well, which should be interesting, and Benfica might not want to keep me. I might be so crap that Benfica might send me out on loan, or they might just get rid of me and tell me to to another club. Maybe someone crap. I don't know. I might end up in Blnils, for instance. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I'll try to adapt with the majority. So yeah, let's get on with this career mode and look at my objectives. So here are my league objectives for the first season. My primary objectives are a match rating of 6.6 .6 or better. That's fair enough. 6.6 .6 isn't that bad. They want us to create eight goals, whether you're setting them up or scoring them. That's fair enough, though. Eight goals in 30-odd matches isn't that much. The secondary objectives ain't that bad either. I want you to create over 30 scoring chances. As long as they don't have to score, that's fine. I think I'll complete that. And maintain a pass completion rate of 71% or better. That just means that I need to focus and make sure that I don't mess up passing. Uh, but yeah, they're totally achievable. And as long as we achieve these, we'll stay in the team. I hope we'll stay in the team anyway. But yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this challenge. So I was looking for a place where I could see his overall stats, but this isn't the place clearly. But I can see that he earns £15,000 a week. I wish I could earn that. Uh, that reminds me, I should have put it in euros, but never mind. And his current value is £4 million, which is quite a lot, but we want to get that into the hundreds of millions. My current form is 6, so that's just the average before you play any matches. As you can see, I've played no matches yet with the stats down below. Uh, but yeah, let's see what else we can find. So this is the My Action screen, and I had another attempt at creating this career mode, and I got to this screen, and I hit Request Transfer, and they accepted. So I had to do it all over again uh, but again it just shows a quick overview of the stats but we want to see everything so finally in the squad ranking screen i can see his full stats immediately i notice that he's quite a pacey little player he's got 80 acceleration 84 agility 84 sprint speed so based on that i can see that agility sprint speed and acceleration is just going to develop naturally for him as they are his main stats and that's what he's best at so i'm not really going to touch those in terms of training so i'm going to concentrate on the stats that's where he's lagging slightly behind the important ones, technical and mental. Obviously not goalkeeping, but yeah, so that's the plan. So the stats I'm going to work on are strength. We need to muscle him up a bit, a bit like uh, Messi a few years ago with a pizza. Stamina as well. We don't want him to run out of pace halfway through the match. Obviously, we are going to ignore aggression and interceptions, but we want long pass. Uh, we also want volleys, penalties, finishing and crossing. So those are the main stats that I'm going to go for. And uh, yeah, let's check out the training now. And uh, I'm actually going to play the training in this career mode, which I think is important. I don't want to simulate the training as it's all about the player. And it's fun to watch me trying to get an A. I know it's going to be difficult, but it's fun and it's challenging. So my first training session is going to be perfect delivery to train up crossing and long pass, which was one of the areas where Gonçal was lacking. So my second session is going to be sharpshooting for his finish. Finishing. His shot power ain't too bad, but his finishing's terrible. 66. It won't get him to 67, but it will get him close. And yeah, that's a, that's a good one for him. And the third one is beat your man on hard, and that's mainly for his stamina because he's lacking there. The fourth one's the El Rondo for vision and short pass. He's not really lacking in that area, but I'm running out of choices, so yeah. And the last one's assisted free kicks, as I want him to become a beast at that. So I will 
was doing pretty well in perfect delivery until I got to the triple cross uh, from the right hand side. Getting that angle perfect is an absolute chore. Uh, getting this angle is really hard. You have to really get it close to the far post and yeah, I got an F to start off with. And then I got stuck on the triple cross again, couldn't get it to Jonas, and another F! And yes, you've guessed it, I got stuck on the triple cross again, I got another F, and I've only got one more try left. Uh, this is all or nothing now. So let's see if we're third time lucky. The actual triple tap, the first one that you get, is actually quite easy. Then you get the low cross, double tap. He's in good position. Uh, the cross is relatively easy. Um, got it in first time. And then it's this one. This beast is really tough. But somehow I got it. I got a double tap. I'm doing quite well now. Three and a half thousand. I've only got this one to do before I get the final and hopefully get a good score. But I'm overhitting it, hitting it too far in front. And it's so frustrating when you're only one off. Uh, I did get it eventually, and uh, yeah, so much better this time. I got a C, and I'm so happy. Uh, I was bordering on going mental there for a second. So sharpshooting was quite tough, getting those top left and right hand side corners. Uh, the ones at the bottom are quite easy because you can just slowly chip them in. Uh, but yeah, I got a C in this one. I'm not going to try it again to try and get a better score. I think I was lucky to get a C, to be honest. And yeah, I'm just going to proceed to the next one. So I'm actually quite good at beat your man. I'm likely to get quite a high score here. Uh, the trick is to run towards them and then keep running towards them at a sharper angle. And you can usually get around the play, as you can see here. Uh, and then you just build up combos. The more you do it, the, uh, the better combos you get. And yeah, Gonzalo Gedge is actually good for going around players for some reason. If you got, get knocked down there. I don't know if you realised I actually got a thousand for that as well. Uh, but yeah, it's all about building your combos and you'll get a B or an A. No problem, uh, to be honest. I'm sure in future training sessions I will get an A. I got a B this time. I decided to continue because I didn't want to risk it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really enjoy this one. Oh god, the El Rondo. Now this is a lot of faffing around. It's just a lot of passing. It's difficult. They'll intercept you easily. I got an F the first time, but the second time I actually uh, did alright, which I'm usually terrible at this. I mean, it's just a case of tap, 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 tap to the same direction and just hope that you're going to get a good score in the end. Uh, yeah, that I really did not like that. Now, assisted free kicks, this is something I really never use. I never use this in FIFA because I'm actually quite good at taking free kicks just with a single guy. And I don't see why it would be of any benefit, to be honest, in a real game, either online or offline. But there's some things uh, that I just didn't enjoy about this. Obviously, not knowing the curve of the players that you're taking the free kicks with. Obviously, there I have to aim slightly to the left. He's got a lot of... Uh, curve there to Lishka, uh, but then it's just these these uh, things that I just couldn't work it out. I was shooting from a weird distance, I did get it here uh, first time, but in other attempts I was chipping the ball to the other player and it just wasn't going. The controls were just terrible, uh, but yeah, I didn't, wasn't really sure what I was doing here. This was my first time, so I took it with the wrong player. I think I was meant to pass it uh, to Talishka for him to finish it off. I, I don't really know. Or through ball uh, to Jonas. I, I'm not 100% sure I did that. Uh, then, yeah, that failed. I threw ball to the wrong player. Uh, but yeah, just to let you know, I do improve in this later on. I'm not going to show all the training because it can get boring watching me just do training. I might just fast forward it so you can quickly see an overview of my best uh, attempt and uh, the result. And that's all I do in the future. If you want to see the whole thing, then just let me know. If you want to see my failings, which I don't really want you guys to, to see. And look, I did get it right, but then I didn't get the shot. Damn it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see my failings, uh, just let me know and I'll put them in in the next episode uh, but for now uh, well for the rest of the episode I'll just quickly go through them because there's a few matches and a lot to see here and yeah I get an F yay so you're gonna see an overview now of my results so here's the results I got perfect delivery C sharp shooting C beat your man B El Rondo C and free kicks F that's terrible so finally we have some action, we have some gaming, it's the Las Americas Invitational Cup, it's Benfica against Colo Colo from Chile, uh, so yeah, I've been selected, I'm playing in right midfield, I'm sure uh, they're just seeing if they want to use me in the first team for the league, that's why they've picked me, so yeah, wish me luck and let's see how I do, and how the team does in general as well, because that's also interesting. So I get my first touch of the ball, it's a through ball to Mitroglu, hoping that he can cut in and score, but I actually ask for a pass as I'm running to the middle there, uh, but it's a poor pass and I can get to it, so uh, yeah, not great. 
So Nelson Smith receives the ball. I make a run round him. Can you see that's a nice through ball actually that I'm going to receive here? Uh, but then I lose the ball. Yeah, not doing too great at the moment. I'm not uh, doing too well down the wing. So 13 minutes in, I receive another pass, but I lose it straight away. I try and chase, uh, but I can't catch up to the player. Incidentally, my rating went up and then straight down to 60. So now it's Colo Colo on the attack. 17 minutes into the game, they're actually playing quite well, holding a lot of the possession. Vilches now with the right footed shot goes straight through our goalkeeper and uh, their player nearly gets it on the far post and we nearly concede it's a tough match lads and now it's my turn to have some possession again Smith with a pass to me and uh, I tried to go around the player I pass it to Mitroglu I'm going around the right hand side trying to get in the middle obviously calling for a pass I don't get it uh, we lose possession then I tried to get the ball off the goalkeeper or something uh, but I just couldn't get it I'm slowly improving when making runs down the right hand side, I know I'm not great yet, I will get there, uh, my rating is 5.9 as you can see, I need a 6.6 .6 average overall uh, throughout the season, so I'm not doing that great, I did uh, go up to 6, then back down to 5.9, uh, throw in, I try to pick up the ball, I lose it, and then again I try to get back into position, I'm always wondering should I attack or try and get the ball back, but yeah, no joy this time. So it's now Benfica on the attack and Mitroglu with the possession, he passes it to Raul Jimenez, he's going to take a right footed effort, it goes towards the near post and it's a great save there by the Colo Colo goalkeeper, uh, let's see that replay, a blistering shot from about 18 yards and a great save there from the goalkeeper. Uh, but good effort, still no goal though, still nil-nil. So now I'm going to get another chance on the ball. Uh, I'm going to receive the ball here down the middle, trying to pass to Mitroglu. Uh, he loses the possession. I just want to get something, an assist or something, to get my rating up. Again, me with the possession on the right-hand side. I try a 1-2 with Mitroglu, but he doesn't want to pass the ball back. And he passes it straight to the Colo Colo midfield. And yeah, another bit of poor ball control from me. I do get the possession, but look what happens. I pass it down, and then I get desperate and try and regain the possession. Uh, trying to tackle anything in sight. Of course, that's not helping me. I'm still rated 5.9. Disappointing start. I just hope they pick me for the next match. So finally, I'm going to get some proper action. I'm picking the ball around 30 yards out. Uh, I'm going to cut in down the middle, take a left-footed shot. Look at that blistering shot. Uh, again, great save there by the Colo Colo goalkeeper, but that was a fantastic effort from me. I actually thought I was going to score that, get it top left-hand corner, but I didn't. It was a great save. Uh, but yeah, that serves to raise my uh, rating a little bit higher. So it's half time and as you can see I'm a bit tired, my rating's 5.9 or maybe a 6 now uh, with that effort, I just hope they keep me in the game, let's see if I stay in for the second half, you'd think they'd uh, substitute me because of my uh, stamina, but no, I stay in and let's see if I can score a goal or get an assist. Another opportunity at getting some action, I did ask for the ball but I have no pace left, that's down to my stamina and currently my rating is 5.9 which is not very good at all. Now a nice attempt here at a 1-2 situation, I think it's between me and Raul Jimenez, it doesn't say the name of the players, uh, but yeah, I tried to run for it, I don't have the pace, uh, the defenders outrun me, but yeah. And now it's Colo Colo with another dangerous piece of attacking play, and it's Vilches again, with a blistering shot, it hit the bar and it went out, luckily we cleared it, but yeah, they could have scored there and we could have gone 1-0 down. Again, I'm just pressing that button, calling for the ball, he doesn't actually pass to me, which is quite disappointing. It gets to Mitroglu if he's still in the game, I don't know if it's him, uh, but now Geddes with the possession, I try and make a through ball, but that was a pathetic effort, uh, and look at my stamina, it's terrible. Colo Colo with a dangerous attack again, this time it's Rodriguez with the possession, Valdez picks up the ball, and Baeta, and Valdez again, what a shot, that trajectory was in. ridiculous, a great save there from Julio Cesar though. Wow, I'm now playing in the centre midfield position, I make a nice pass here but he tries to, I don't know, flick it to another player that isn't there, uh, but yeah, disappointing there, although my rating went up to 6. So I get some possession in the midfield again, trying to make some passes to get my rating higher, I try to make a run down the middle, that pass misses me, I'm still waiting for the ball there, uh, but nothing comes out of it, they clear it and it's getting towards the end of the game. So there you go lads, unfortunately no goals, it was nil-nil, I couldn't score, I couldn't get an assist either, my rating was pretty crap, and yeah, Colo Colo played pretty well, they had most of the possession and most of the dangerous shots, uh, but all there is to know now is my rating and to see if we get picked uh, for the next match. So here's my rating, let's go through it, so my shooting was one, I had one shot and uh, one on target. Uh, passing was 76, so nine uh, short passes completed, one long. I got one failed long, two failed medium, which isn't that great. Uh, I guess I don't really know what's, 
what I did that wrong. I guess it's because I didn't really do much at all. I had uh, three tackles, one, which is 100% there as well. I lost six balls as well. So I think it's more of a case that I didn't really do much. Uh, so, yeah, let's hope that they uh, allow me to play another game. I'm sure I can improve from this. And, uh, yeah, let's see. So fortunately, I did get picked for the next match, which is against River Plate in the America's Preseason Cup. However, I will be leaving this episode here for now. You'll get the next episode in a couple of days, hopefully. It won't be as long as this one, don't worry. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me feedback and comments. That's really important to me. And uh, yeah, what's left to say apart from thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.